When unexpected events take place, it can be helpful to focus on structure, guidelines, and routine. Today, Jean Andrews explores a tough subject and what helped her make sense of it. This is A Walk in the Park. I heard on the news recently about the sudden death of someone I admired so much. As a performer, he was the best dancer I'd seen in a long time. He just understood what dance was all about. But more than that, he was the best human being. Kind, generous, bright, funny. As his wife described, he lit up every room he walked into. So when I heard on the news the tragedy of his death and then looked up that he had died by means of suicide, I literally dropped my phone. It is difficult to make sense of what happened. It wasn't finances or failures or family dynamics. Everything was really good, which makes the prospect ever more perplexing. Mental illness is a subject no one wants to talk about. As I read the worldwide feelings of shock and loss for this man, it is evident that this shakes up insecurity in ourselves. For me, I reach for a more spiritual guideline I once heard at church. I don't remember the exact words, but the lesson was profound. Basically, I don't get to decide when I die. That is the job of the God of my understanding. Hearing that instantly took the pressure off living up to my own standard. I don't get to decide. I am not eligible to judge myself that way, thank God. When I think back, the God of my understanding has been there with me through the toughest times, even if I couldn't fathom what possible purpose my experiences would generate. Some purposes are revealed years later. We may never know immediately why we are supposed to stay. I just have to be okay not knowing. For me, not getting to decide when I die is a rule I can live with. Unfortunately, we can't control what others think, do, or hide, and that reality is very difficult to accept. Everyone needs to know that they are not alone and that there is no shame in reaching out for help. Today, I try not to listen to the voices in my head, but listen to the voice in my heart instead. If you, or someone you know, is struggling with suicidal thoughts, call or text 988, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. A message brought to you by Wild Birds Unlimited on Route 2 in Warwick.